Hello and welcome to Stream Tabulous. So we're going to take a little look at Ackley's AI Diffusion 1.17, um, but we're actually going to take a look at some of the bugs that I've hit. Um, I actually have a massive headache, so I'm going to take them off. So both PCs I've tested are on our uh, Windows 10 PCs. Uh, they're both running GTX, um, sorry, they're both running NVIDIA systems. This one is a GTX um, 1070. The other one is the uh, RTX 3060. And they're both having issues. So uh, we're going to skip the intro and we're just going to go over and take a look at a couple of things. So we'll go over and we'll just take a look at um, some pictures first to show you what the, um, the renders I'm getting actually look like. Okay, so this is what we're getting. These are the exact same settings as uh, what I was using on um, version 1.15. And we can see that there's a lot of artifacts happening on it. And this is running through each one of the samplers. So um, this one here is the default sampler. This one here is the creative sampler. And uh, if you increase the steps, it gets worse. And if you decrease the steps, it gets worse. So I'm um, not sure what's going on. So we have a lot that's not quite right with it. So uh, yeah, all right, let's take a look here. This is the original 1.15. Uh, and this is the samplers that we have in the uh, 1.15. So this is just the screen grab of it. And these all worked perfectly fine. There was no issues with any of these. And we come over to the 1.17. The interesting thing is this one appeared this morning by its own. There's no um, custom uh, samplers that file I deleted. So we could just have a look at it as the base. The other interesting thing is this one here is on the RTX um, 3060 system. This one come up this morning on the RTX 3060 system. So that's the first thing. Now I'm going to move over to a video because it's just easier to flick between um, uh, 1.15 to 1.17. So we're going to take a look here. So you can see I'm on the uh, DPM uh, M, uh, 2M Keras++. And we have the prompt in. And this is the same prompt that I'm testing on uh, both of these. And again, this is the uh, one point, um one five, and we'll see that the images are nice and clear. We're not getting any artifacts in the background. We're only running it on fifteen steps and um, a guidance of uh, two point eight, and I usually run it on uh, ten and two. And changing it makes, you know, I mean, it's working the way it should with um, one point one five. I skipped 1.16 because I was having some issues in 1.16, um, but that was regarding uh, upscaling more than anything, which I'm still having that problem with 1.17. Uh, but now seeing the interaction between this, I don't know if it is uh, something to do with samplers. Uh, reading, writing issues, um, problems with speech, uh, the neurological muscle um, Condition affects the whole body and, uh, of course, being in pain 24-7, cognitive functions. Slurry. So it's hard to type and just explain what's going on. So I'm doing the video instead. And we can see we're coming through and we're, you know, every time we render it, it's perfect. And we're on low step. So I expect that little bit of artifacts that we're getting around the eyes there. But we can see that the... Um, the image is beautiful. We're not getting those massive um, glitches that we're getting with the uh, 1.17. Uh, 1 1.17 also on some of the renders, you'd still see color marks from the diffusing. So you'd see that static diffusion uh, where you get a big blob of pink and a big blob of purple, and you'd get that on the uh, images in some spots, which was um, very unusual as well. So yeah, we're just basically showing that uh, here that uh, there's no issues with 1.15 and um, it's important to show this so we can understand when I show 1.17. The LoRa to be fixed for that LoRa error to come up you actually have to download the um, Lightning LoRa and put it in the LoRa directory to fix 1.17. I don't have that LoRa in like the lightning that I'm clicking there, 
I don't have that Laura installed. I don't know if, how if this relates or if this is a non Laura, uh, but this is just showing that it works as it should and um, no issues. Uh, we also notice that we go from 11 samplers with 1.15 down to six samplers with 1.17. Uh, Ackley said they're all the same, that they're in there, but they're not in there. They're actually missing, which makes me think that there's um, something wrong, a conflict in the code. Now, I have reinstalled this uh, four times in total, and I'm getting the same result every single time. Um, he's tried replicating it via the description and is not seeing it. So the easiest way is to um, show it. Okay. So this is 1.17, and that's the Keras which I've set up, and you can see that it's uh, set up correctly as the um, DPM++ uh, 2MSDE Keras, that's what a Keras is. And we could see that in the other one set up to the exact same um, steps and guidance. We had a beautiful image every single time, so I'm trying to show that consistency there. So again, if you move this up and you move it down, it gets worse. And we can see those artifacts. So we'll move through to the real-time lightning. Uh, we're going to set it up the same, of course. So these are his default samplers. Um, I created a whole heap of samplers to test. The only ones that seem to work were the Euler samplers. Anything which is related to the um, DPM++ artifacts the same as what you're seeing here that's a hot mess so yeah so there's something going on um we can see that uh you know it's it's blurry it's not finished rendering you can put these you can put the steps up it just gets worse you can put the steps down it gets worse um you know ironically that sweet spot is 10 too so this is the best we can get and it's not just this uh, model it's all models, um, particularly lightnings, which are affected. So something missing in the uh, secret source. So we're trying that one. We'll come through. So this is the turbo lightning, uh, which to my understanding is the same as the original lightning model. And um, lucky enough, I have backups. So I was able to go through and check the steps on uh, all the models and make sure I replicated them the same between 1.15 and 1.17. And we can see that um, it, it's a mess. Um, two different systems, uh, both Windows 10 systems, uh, GTX 1070 versus the RTX uh, 3060, which, um, you know, showed the images from that system. And uh, we can see, I mean, both are just, just not running where it should. So, and uh, I'll do a video on adding um, more samplers to it as well. But uh, this one is, it's just easier to go underneath the, um, the issues and I'm just going to post the link uh, for Ackley to the video um, so he can physically see it. Uh, maybe, maybe something will click and uh, he'll see that there's some sort of conflict. I believe there must be two directories listed and it's getting confused on um, what it's looking at to handle the samplers. Uh, because the... 3060 system is came up with that uh, Karis today and there's no custom sampler in there. Uh, this edit custom sampler preset does open up the text document on, um, does open up the text document uh, to be edited on the, on this system. So on the, um, the GTX 1070, on the RTX 3060, it doesn't work at all. Uh, which leads me to think there's some sort of conflicting going on um, with the way it's written, but I don't do code, um, you know, not my type of IT. My type of IT is uh, just install something and run it and uh, build a computer. No, nothing to do with code. All I can do is relate on issues that I'm running into. I've noticed comments on my other videos popping up uh, in the last um, day and a half. 
and they're all saying I'm getting errors every time I'm trying to run it. I'm getting an error. I'm getting a Laura error. And uh, yeah, I didn't realize until this morning and um, that people are probably running the new one and getting that error. And I have a funny feeling that obviously they probably haven't put that law in. So we'll, um, I'll show you where to download that and how to put it in in the uh, next video. Uh, but this one here, I just want to point out that um, myself, I'm getting a lot of problems. So if you're getting these rendered artifacts as well and hitting the same issues, you know where to leave a comment. Uh, of course, I don't have a great deal of followers. So I, uh, like usual, I don't expect a, a lot of comments down there. Um, but yeah. Uh, of course, I'll leave the link to um, Ackley's page so you can get over that. Uh, still support him. Do that donation. Um, it's a big help to him. He's putting a lot of effort into this program to get it working for all of us. And the work that he does is absolutely fantastic. And we wouldn't have it without him. So I can't stress that enough. So make sure you uh, get to that link below. Head over to the sponsor. Uh, you can do a monthly sponsor. Or you can do a one-time off. Um, but, you know help him out uh i do all my videos for uh, free ad free uh, no promotions or anything and i'd rather see you guys help out him and get that program more support that way he has more time perhaps to do it doesn't have to do overtime at work or whatever so yeah so that is the 1.17 and that's the uh, issues i'm running into it uh, after i show you guys how to um add more uh, samplers to it i will be rolling back to 1.15 because uh, unfortunately um, the 1.17 is unusable to myself and of course i will uh, see you in the next stream tab of this video but don't forget to of course like subscribe get the bell on for notifications that helps me out because it pushes the algorithm and then we can get the uh, message out to more people that you don't have to um you know you can run AI Diffusion on your local system with this uh, fantastic program. So, yeah, like, subscribe, get the bell on. Comment below on uh, how you're going with it. What version are you running and why are you running that version if you are? And what graphics card are you running as well? I'm always interested to hear that. And, of course, I'll see you in the next Stream Tabulous video. Thank you for watching my video and sticking around to the end. If you like my videos, it would really help me out if you could like and subscribe. It helps the YouTube algorithm to push my videos out there to more viewers, which in turn helps me and helps everyone. So thank you for watching my video and hanging around to the end, and I will see you in the next video.